It is Wednesday, August the 3rd, and this is Love Notes, Daily Devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. Our summer psalm today is number 126. It is a psalm of ascent, or a psalm of Zion, which praises God as the people enter into the presence of God and remember what God has done. Throughout these psalms, we found over and over again the call of the psalmist to remember in the time of trouble, to give thanks for what has God, God has done in the past so that we may look to the future and know that God will act again. That's how we journey through the valley of the shadow of darkness. The psalmist begins today by remembering when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. The psalmist is here probably looking back to the time when the exiles from Babylon were returned to the land and began the process of rebuilding a life as the people of Judah. In exile, the psalmist had sung earlier that we sit by the streams and the rivers of Babylon and we weep, even though our captors mock us. But the psalmist here remembers that that didn't last forever. In fact, the people were returned in joy and in hard work to the land that had been taken from them. So the call here is to remember an act of God that delivered. Can you think of things and times in your life when God has delivered you, when God has been gracious to you? That's what the psalmist is calling the people to do here. And now, now apparently they once again find themselves in darkness. They once again find themselves struggling. And so remembering the deeds of God in the past, the psalmist turns in verse 4 to say, Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses in the Negev. It's an interesting image here. The Negev is desert. It is dry as a bone. Those images you may have with old cow skulls that have been bleached by the sun, left by a dry riverbed where there was no more water. In those places, the psalmist cries out, restore our fortunes as you will restore the water courses, the, the, the creeks and, and the rivers and the streams that run through the river that did at one time. Restore them, bring them back so that the Negev can once again not just be sand and wilderness, but be full of life and growth. Our lives can be desert-like sometimes, and the psalmist is calling out to God to restore the thing that nourishes, the thing that restores us. Then the psalmist turns to a plea, saying, May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. This is a resurrection moment. Throughout the Psalms and in Scripture at large, we can find places over and over again where this resurrection power is used to, as the psalmist says, turn our mourning into dancing, make our grief joy, let us set aside our sackcloth and ashes so that we can move with joyous hearts. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. That's the prayer that we give every time we lose someone close to us and loved in our lives. May the tears of today become shouts of joy because we know that the power of the resurrection is always at work. It isn't something we should just wait for. We should look around and see that God is constantly bringing joy out of sorrow, bringing hope out of fear, bringing faith out of faithlessness. The psalmist continues, those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, in other words, those who, who go out with enough hope to sow, to sow the seeds of hope and joy, shall come home with shouts of joy carrying their sheaves. 
It's an invitation for us to sow the seeds of hope in the midst of the darkness and struggle of life. And we sow the seeds of hope by following Christ, by meditating in his word, by doing the good deeds that come to us as responses to the good deeds God has done for us. We love the world because we've been loved. Those are sowing the seeds of joy and out of those seeds will come a harvest, a harvest of joy. We will return with sheaves, sheaves of joy and happiness, grace and mercy. That's the promise of this psalm. Let us pray. Faithful God, like a grain of wheat falling into the earth, you, your son went into death so that after three days the earth might bloom with the joy of his rising. Let the seeds of justice, which we plant with tears, bring forth the power of the resurrection in the places of death and despair, and gather, gather us at last into the joyful harvest of the saints. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.